G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Flashlight Crazy. Today I am reviewing the Wolf Eyes Sniper 2 Pro Ultra. Let's check it out. All right, so inside the box, you will get a uh, long, long, long lanyard. The lanyard will have two stoppers here, and it will have these metal endings that you can decide to use or not use. But uh, the really cool thing about this little metal clip here is that it can actually be directly attached to that lanyard holding area just there, that little hole there. So clip that on like that and you're good to go. So as you'll see throughout this video, guys, uh, this, this light is all business and it is made with quality and with durability in mind. You will also get your Wolf Eyes external battery charger here, and that is going to charge your Wolf Eyes 3.7 volt lithium ion 3400 milliamp 18650 battery. This is a protected cell and it is a flat top. And of course, you will get your Wolf Eyes user manual, uh, I will go into exactly uh, what different specs this has and everything like that, so don't worry, but um, there's a picture to pause on, guys, if you want to pause and take a look. And now on the box here, you will get a sticker with a quality control certificate. Uh, it's showing me that it's the Sniper 2 Ultra, and it is a rechargeable, and it has been checked saying that I have the Pro Cap tail cap. So I'll go over what that is uh, in a moment. But... Just taking a look at the box quickly, when you get your hands on this box, you automatically think quality, straight away. You just think, oh yeah, this company takes care of their presentation and uh, they, they give their customers a quality experience. So opening that up, obviously I've taken everything out, but this is how it'll come. And then you've got the, the light in there, you've got the charger, battery, lanyard, all that good stuff. All right, so before I install the battery, just wanted to show the uh, double spring end. So spring at the head, spring at the tail, which means this light can be weapon mounted and it will not lose contact during recoil. And if you can see in here, that is actually a brass liner. And the purposes of having a brass liner in an alloy body is that the brass will actually force heat away from the LED and therefore giving your LED a uh, longer lifespan. All right, so just uh, looking at this torch, first impressions are quality, absolute quality. Um, it, it feels tough as nails. It feels like I could throw this at a brick wall, uh, which I would never do because it's such a beautiful light, but it does feel like I could throw it at a brick wall and then pick it up and use it. And you know what? I honestly believe I would be able to do that. After reading into a little bit about this company and uh, just a little bit about these lights and where they're used and who uses them and all that sort of stuff, which I will go into, um, this is a quality, quality light. It's it's all business and uh, I'm very impressed with the overall quality that this light has. The finishing on it is brilliant. So it's just starting at the head, guys. You've got your crenulated uh, bezel here, slightly crenulated, nothing crazy, but much better than having just a flat top bezel. And then if we look down in the LED, you've got, um, I don't want to say completely smooth reflector because it's its slightly textured, but only slightly. Um, and I think that is what gives this hotspot such a soft touch to it. Bright as all hell, but nice, it, it, it's, soft, it's softer than, than just a boom uh, hotspot, which I'll show you on the wall and in the, in the night shots and everything like that. Now, embedded down in the, uh, in the reflector is your SFT40 LED. And just on that, guys, uh, so this light, just like many of other Wolf Eyes uh, products, they actually replace LEDs, reflectors, um, rubber clickies, <clears throat> Your, your tail cap mechanical system, uh, springs. So anything that is inside this light that makes this light work is actually replaceable uh, if something goes wrong. So what does that tell you? Well, theoretically, if you buy one of these lights, you could actually have this light forever because if the LED burns out, if the tail cap stops working, you just get it replaced and then uh, you've got your brand new light again. So that's a sensational quality to have in a company. Really, really uh, impressive that. Now, if we just have a look on the inner, inner bit of the bezel there, you've got threads. 
Now, those threads are for attaching things like your wand, so your traffic wand. Now, the reason why this light is designed to have a traffic wand attached so securely like that is actually because uh, the predecessor to this light, the Sniper 2 Pro, not the Ultra version, is actually used in South Australia. Wolf Eyes has the contract for the South Australian Police Force. So all the SA Pole use, uh, use a Wolf Eyes uh, Sniper 2 Pro. So the one before this one. Same light, just less lumens, that's it. Another fun fact about Wolf Eyes is that uh, they actually now have branched out and they and more authority government agencies such as uh, Australian Border Force are actually using their lights too. So I believe that this light in particular is most definitely going to be upgraded to the South Australian Police for sure, but also uh, the Australian Border Force are now either now using it or are going to be using it probably next financial year or something like that. That says a lot about this light already. Now, another cool fact about Wolf Eyes, the company, is that they were the first Australian company to bring rechargeable torches, LED torches, to Australia. I believe Lead Lenza already had uh, LED torches in Australia, but they weren't rechargeable. So Wolf Eyes were the first to bring rechargeable LED torches into Australia. Now, Continuing on with the uh, with the assessment of the body, so the head is very very smooth, feels really nice and smooth. You've got these anti roll areas here, which to be honest, you don't really need on this light because these anti roll bits here at the tail cap are so effective. Um, however, you've still got them here, which is nice because even if it does go for a bit of a roll, it will stop. Uh, now you've got what seems to be like some uh, basic heat sinks there. But as I said before, you won't need dramatic heat sinks on this light head because you've got the brass, uh, the brass inlay liner, which is, which is gonna pull heat away from the LED anyway. Now on the body, you've got smooth areas here and here, but then a nice textured area right in the middle. So very, very comfortable to hold. Now, if you wanna hold it down like that, you can once it's on. You can hold it down like that, very, very comfortable, great for striking if you need it to, but also it's just not going anywhere. Uh, otherwise, you can hold it a little bit up so you've got more control with the tail clicky, but also with the rotary switch, which I'll go over. Uh, or once you turn it on, you can hold it like an EDC light as well, and it's just so comfortable. Because of its size, it's so, so comfortable. Really, really nice light to hold, guys. Um, I probably wouldn't call this a pocketable light, I'd call it more of like a holster bound light or, you know, a light that you put in your glove box or next to your bed or, or even in like an emergency backpack for, you know, a natural disaster and you lose electricity or something like that. It's built like a friggin' tank. So, you know, anywhere you put, it's not going to damage it at all. And now if we just move up to the tail cap. So this is the patented pro cap tail cap for wolf eyes, guys. Now, what this does is if you can see here, so turning it all the way to the left, that's going to say S2, meaning strobe 2. That's going to say S1, meaning strobe 1. So all the way to the left is going to get it to strobe 2. And then turning it will get it to strobe 1, which is basically like a beacon. And then turning it again will get you to your low output. Turning it again will get you to your medium low output. Turning it again will get you to your medium output. Turning it again will get you to your high output. So a uh, really, really cool pro cap, tail cap here with a rotary switch. So firstly with that, you can actually set it to whatever output you want before turning it on, which is really nice. But also if you've got it on and you turn it, it'll just change. So really, really nice tail cap there. Nice design, really cool, uh, really, really like it. Now, as I said before, on the top of the tail cap here, you've got these anti-roll areas, uh, also really, really nice for grip as well, these areas, and also really, really nice for uh, if you wanna hold it cigar grip as well. So very, very cool, and they just feel strong, man. I mean, even if you had the torch like that, and you were uh, you were using it like that, holding your hand down there. They'd even be good to you know whack someone if you needed to. So um, in self defense, of course. So really, really cool. Now, if we just look at the top of the tail cap here, you've got a tail standing option, and that is because you have these protruding areas all the way around, and then the tail clicky is just slightly recessed down the bottom there. So 
How's that? Really, really nice. So all in all, very, very happy with the externals. Now, just going over the measurements from the top of the bezel to end of tail cap, it is 16 and a half centimeters. So that'd be 165 millimeters. And the width of the light head, including the bezel is three and a half centimeters. Width of the body is about two and a half centimeters. And then the largest part of the tail cap would be this part here. And that kicks out to four centimeters. And then the rotary switch is 3.5 or 3.6 centimeters. So as I always say, guys, with um, with tactical lights, especially uh, a big head tapering in and then, well, even it doesn't have to be a big head, but a slim body tapering out at the tail cap makes for amazing grip. That is not going anywhere once it's in my hand. And to be honest, it feels incredible in the hand. All right, now going over the weight, uh, obviously no pocket clip because a pocket clip doesn't come included with just the, the base uh, choice. And I'll go over the choices, but the uh, battery installed, the weight comes in at 225.16 grams, which sounds rather heavy, but I mean, I don't know. When I'm holding it, it doesn't feel very heavy, especially when I'm holding it ready to use. You know, it just, it doesn't feel heavy at all. It's, um, I don't know, doesn't feel too heavy, guys. All right, so let's go over the UI. So as I said, this rotary switch is going to control everything. So firstly, uh, as I said, all the way to the left is going to get you to your strobe two. Now strobe two runs at eight hertz. So that's that. And then strobe one runs at one hertz which as I said, is more of like a beacon. But as you can see there, in between the beacon, you've still got a very low output, which is really cool. Haven't seen that before. Another turn is gonna get you to low, then medium low, then medium, then high. But I'm going to start at high uh, because of how the lumens are, are, are suggested and, and, this, and you'll understand why. So high on this light has a max output of 1620 lumens. So that's that and then that will get you 150 meters of throw. But after actually speaking to one of the owners of Wolf Eyes, they told me that they don't do that whole like, oh, wait, you know, measure until the, the last bit of Lux gets all the way away and then that's the, the meterage they give. No, 150 meters is given to how, that's how far you can actually, this light actually works. So you know that whatever uh, meterage they give you, you're going to be able to use that light right up until that meterage. And I proved that last night during the uh, night shots when I shined the torch at a tree that was about 120 meters away and it just lit it up like nothing. So, you know, a light with this output in another brand, let's say, would probably market this as like a 400, 450 meter output, uh, uh, throw, sorry. Whereas this company's just been honest and just said, no, you'll get 150 meters use out of it and that's it. So um, I really like that about it as well because you don't have to then, you know, use the rule of thumb of basically saying, oh, you know, if it's 500 meters, only only count on a third of that or whatever. So anyway, 1600 meter, uh, 1620 lumens is that. And then if I just bring it down to medium, that is 50% of 1620 lumens. So that'd be 810 lumens. Then bring it back down to medium low. That is 20% of 1620 lumens. And then low is 2% of that. Now, just on low guys, uh, using this last night, this is a very, very usable low. And, and I mean like you can read, so you can like read something in the dark and it doesn't, the light doesn't bounce off it and stop you from seeing it. In fact, the camera is actually showing that the light is bouncing off and, I, and you can't see it, but that's wrong. My eyes, I can read it. So uh, the light, I'm shining the light on the non-digital mode, 100% brightness off, standard mode, digital, 100% brightness, 20% bright. So I can read wh wherever the, the hotspot is. Uh, it didn't look like that in that, in that, uh, on, the, on the camera just then, which was strange, but it's, it's not too bright that I can't just shine it on something and say, oh, what's that? You know, and it doesn't affect my eyesight. So that's really, really, a really, really great low. 2% low is awesome. Now, I'm not sure exactly what candela rating this light has uh, because the 
the uh, user manual shows a, a number of different lights and different candela ratings and things like that. Now I do know it's 1620 lumens and I do know that the candela rating is one of two. So it's either 25,436 candela or 39,000 candela, but I'm not sure which one of those it is. Now, another really great thing about this light guys is, okay, so let's say you've got it on high. So you've got it on high and you are a police officer or whatever, and you need high for a sustained amount of time. This light is not gonna step down. And the reason it's not gonna step down is because it actually has a regulator inside it so that as the battery voltage drops, the amperage is increased. So what that means is you are gonna get 1,620 meters right up until the moment that this light shuts off from the battery being dead. So once the battery cannot sustain any more amperage, this, this light will die. But until then, you are gonna get the max output. So again, another sign of just pure, pure quality in this light. Now, this light has a uh, drop resistance rating of 1.2 meters and a water submersibility rating of also 1.2 meters. And I'm, I'm guessing the reason for that is that they've got no onboard charging with this. Uh, so, you know, obviously you got to pull the battery out to charge it in the external charger they give you. Now, let's just have a quick check at the beam shot there. So that is on high, 1,628 uh, lumens. And as you can see, the spill's got these kind of uh, edged bits, which is due to the bezel. And then just looking at it on the wall again, really, really beautiful uh, beam profile. On the table there, you can see the very narrow spill coming out which then expands a lot more at, at a distance. It, it, it will expand. Really, really gorgeous, uh, gorgeous light. Performs very well, as you'll see in the night shots. Uh, so let's cut to the night shots now, guys, and then we will return for some final thoughts on the Wolfire Sniper 2 Pro Ultra. See you in a sec. All right, here we are with the Wolfire's Sniper 2 Pro Ultra. And that is on low. And what a low. Great throw for low. Up the tree there. That tree's a good seven meters away from me and I can see the uh, top of it with ease. No real spill uh, at, at, at a distance there, but the spill's obviously very close, see that? Gorgeous. It is a, it's an SFT40, but because of the kind of textured reflector it gives this gorgeous beam of spot and flood with a kind of milky uh hot spot it's beautiful all right now single-handed cycling up so that's low medium and now look at that mate that's friggin awesome that's the second lowest setting Second lowest setting. Wow. That's got some serious throw on it. Cool. You can see why the uh, South Australian police used the predecessor to this one. And I'm sure they will be getting this one in the next financial year. Look at that. Second lowest setting and it's reaching that tree over there, which is literally over 100 meters away. Wow, that is so impressive. All right, let's go again. There we go. So that's now medium. Medium setting, such a powerful beam. That's medium, <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right. Gorgeous. So you can, you know, you can picture a uh, law enforcement or something like that with this light, you know. Look, look at that, that's on medium, not even high, and shining it over there. Excuse me, mate. What the heck are you doing to that tree? Leave it alone, you know? Friggin' amazing. Up the tree there. Oi, I found him. He's up in the tree. <laughs> uh. All right, now let's do it. High is coming up. Boom, there it is. In real life, man, that is lighting up that whole tree. It is lighting up the path with a, I mean, obviously that path's only, what, 15 meters away. 
But I mean, if I was standing over at that path and someone was shining this at me, I'd be like, oh crap, can't see a damn thing. Yeah, that's cool. That tree, as I said, over 100 meters away easily and no dramas. Sick light, man. All right, now I'm going to get it all the way back to strobe. Okay, so that's strobe. That's strobe one. And then that's like beacon. So I like how beacon's got a little bit of light, but then beacon, you know? Crazy beacon. Nice. All right, I'm out of here, guys. Get it back to low for my walk home. See ya. All right, so absolutely brilliant, brilliant uh, performance out there. I'm super impressed with it, especially on high and low. I mean, to be honest, they're all very impressive, but the uh, the second low, so medium low, it still has so much throw in it, which is just incredible. It's, it's so impressive, this light, seriously. And then uh, the very low is so, so perfect for, for in-house uh, applications. It's just like, this light is an all-rounder great light. It really is. Now, I did forget to mention, so the runtime of this light, so the runtime on high is an hour and 40 minutes, and you'll get that straight 1,620 lumens for an hour and 40 minutes. Now, the runtime at 50%, which is medium, you will get for four hours. And then the runtime at medium low, which is 20%, uh, you will get for six hours and 40 minutes. And then the runtime on low, which is 2%, you will get for 55 hours. So let's just go over that again, just so we're not mistaken. That you will get straight for one hour and 40 minutes. That you will get straight for four hours. That you will get straight for six hours and 40 minutes. That you will get straight for 55 hours. All right, so uh, this light comes in at $185. Now you will get everything that I showed you in the box for $185, but you can have additives. So you can add the, uh, the traffic wand, you can add the uh, quick draw holster, you can add uh, pocket clips, you can add all sorts of stuff, and obviously the price is gonna go up with each thing you add, but um, the base model that you, you can get is $185, and that is gonna get you the charger, the lanyard, the light, the battery. Now, anybody who is in Australia or New Zealand uh, can get one of these lights from Wolf Eyes. They used to ship uh, abroad, but they don't ship overseas anymore. So only Australian and New Zealand can pick these up directly from Wolf Eyes. Now I'm gonna leave two links for you, for you guys. Uh, the first one's gonna lead you directly to this product. And the second one is gonna lead you to the rest of their, of their torch line. Cause um, I do encourage you to have a look at their torch line. They've got such an amazing line of torches, guys. Really, really uh, impressive. All right, well, thanks for watching another review on Flashlight Crazy, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. This has been a pleasure to review the Wolf Eyes Sniper 2 Pro Ultra. Um, until next time, guys, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.